at my normal sized hands. Hey everybody, look at Paul's normal sized hands. Just do a little workout. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're back for some more wavelength. Uh, it's gonna be a good one, Paul. You can go because you said you wanted to go again. So here you go. Don't look at it until you spin the wheel and go for it. Go for it. Do you know what's crazy? In the the only game we've won that I've played is when we had our round uh, pony fiasco. You can open. Oh. oh, these are two of the most like things that I have opinions on. Both sides of this card that I feel the strongly about: ineffective versus effective, and good superpower versus bad superpower. No cheating. I'm so fucking... You're gonna need information for future games. You're gonna log in your hand washing scale on this. I think I gotta go with this. Okay, Underrated, we... washing your hands with no soap. Overrated, liquid soap. Bar soap, liquid soap. Ineffective and effective. Construction in Edmonton. Done. Yeah. I wanted to go like lock it, but I was like, it, "There's no way it's locked over." Go for no, it, James. I, I would ha be very hard pressed to choose something that was full end of the spectrum. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. I opened it first. <laughs> I mean, that's fine as long as you just close your eyes. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, do you, have, do you have no three? Okay. No, no, I do. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Horny. Happens slowly, happens suddenly. Job and career? Oh, that's an interesting one. That is a, that's a good spectrum. Hand? Hands. As a job or a career? Well, hand, hand job. Hand model. <laughs> Did he give you a hand job? He didn't just give me a hand job. <laughs> he gave me he a hand, hand career. career. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's a great joke. <laughs> happens slowly and happens suddenly. Happens slowly and happens suddenly. I'm trying to expand my spectrum here before I give my clue. PBG job and career for everyone else at the table except me, it's neither. <laughs> I mean, I did pay James today in a Sodi pop. Sodi. So I ask at work too. I'm like, sodas, please. Um, <laughs> Where's me Sodi? Happens slowly and happens suddenly. Losing all your baby teeth. All. Yeah, so it's like slowly, but then like it, when you lose that last one, it's like, boop, it's gone. You're done. Yeah. It happens early in your life. So, okay, so here's the th Okay, let's look at the James perspective. I fucked up already, I can tell. <laughs> this is a human. This is a human life. Born. Sorry, this one. Fuck. Born. Yeah, no, it's not that broad. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> no, it's like... It's like the tooth is loose, <laughs> the tooth is gone. <laughs> Something else. Fuck. I'm really bad at giving clues. I think we're here or here. Okay, but so like, let's look at this James perspective. Like, what could be... Like, it was washing hands. What's this one? Girl, I don't know. This one's hard. <laughs> this one's hard because what the fuck? Losing all your baby teeth. <laughs> so it... It's not... You couldn't... You would never describe it as sudden. He might, though. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> like, it might just be like, you lose one, then you're like, I've lost them all. Yeah. <laughs> like, you lose one, then they all just go. Because they, when it starts happening, it does start going quick. Okay. Okay. I'm straight up somewhere between... I think let's here. do this. Let's do the, your plan. Let's okay. do this. Fuck yeah. Wow. Fuck yeah. Wow. 
baby tooth one bit last baby tooth that's what it is that's, that's kind of what i thought it might be so that's fair okay what uh, <laughs> close your eyes when you were like birth death i was like didn't yeah it. as soon as you said birth i was like absolutely yeah not. no that's fair there's no fucking that's way fair. close your eyes uh fuck okay thank you All right, we have fantasy and sci-fi. What's up? Ooh. And I'm going to say... Is this easy cards or hard cards? Easy. What's hard? These are good. I'm going to say... Are you okay? No. I'm going to say the film. I just need to get the right number. Film. 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 No, it can't be that. I'm going to say it, though. I'm going to follow my gut. All right. The film Apollo 13. That is absolutely... Oh, hold on. It's not fantasy. I was going to say it's neither of these. But it, the film Apollo... Th so, it is science fiction yeah. in its most strictest terms. Because it's a science... It's a fictional... Re man, Apollo 13 is so good, though. I've never seen it. Oh, man. It, well, I don't know if it holds up, but Houston. it was really good. We have a problem. Um, so it's got to be like in this quarter, third quarter. I'm like, what fantasy elements are there at all? Because it's a dramatized retelling. But that's like you tell a dramatized retelling of like a just like a personal story. There's yeah. no fantasy in that. Like, movies that are just dramas that are based on factual but, but, inf like, events. No, 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 I get what you're saying, but there's fictional elements in the movie to dramatize, like, how... Yes, the but fiction does not equal fantasy. We're talking genre. Science fiction. Right. I'm trying I'm, to... You're arguing why it is fantasy, though? No. No, yeah, no. That, okay, arguing... that's what I'm saying. What, oh. what fantasy... Like, why isn't it this? Because it's not like Starship Troopers. So if it's science fiction and fantasy, there's kind of got to be like a fucking documentary somewhere in here. What do you mean documentary? What? Documentary? What do you mean document? How does a documentary have anything to do with whether or not it's sci-fi or fantasy? Because I mean, it's just in the middle of fucking movie spectrums. This is like... You can't, to me, okay, it's hey. like Apollo 13, Star Wars... Lord of the Rings. See, what I'm thinking is this would be like Star Wars, strict science fiction. No way, Star Wars is totally fantasy. And we go, well, I know it's got fantasy elements, but you know, like the, so Star Trek. Also fantasy. So Star Trek is like a hardcore sci-fi. Apollo 13 is a little more real. Which it is full sci-fi, but it's also fantasy. We're not looking sci-fi versus not sci-fi. We're looking sci-fi compared to fantasy. So Apollo 13, to me, is strictly science and fiction. I can't think of anything fantasy going on, but I've never seen it. But from what I know about it, there's nothing fantasy to it, right? You make a very compelling argument. My gut just tells me we're here-ish. Okay. Sure. But. Yeah. Wow, James. Get that. Yeah, Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek is the, yeah. I wanted yeah. to make you think of in space. But not Star Trek space. Like, uh, yeah. Cause Star Wars would have been my in the middle. I was about to say that, but then I was like, no, that's in the middle. It's, yeah. So I needed to go a little bit away from pure sci-fi. I don't think Paul knows what sci-fi is. What do you mean? Paul knows what sci-fi is. When we're talking, just... if this only in this context of the spectrum being sci-fi versus fantasy. Yeah, like I would have said like man goes to a uh, movie where man... Uh, rides bike that would have been my middle for like as well for this like that like i had two spectrums the star wars spectrum and then also like the the one i was trying to get across which was like 
normal movie where a guy just watches TV and then like movies where they fight aliens in space and then like movies where they fight a dragon in a cave. Right? Like I was trying to get like two spectrums across with my clue there. So almost what like about? there was a third spoke here that was like neutral. Yes. Neither. Yeah, that's how I look at every spectrum. Like that's how I try to look at like every spectrum I can. Like what like kind of like lives in the middle of it. Uh, what what about Oh, and that's why James and I, James and I, are two different sides of madness. That's interesting because I was thinking both, mm -hmm. not neither. Yeah, yeah. That's well. That's why I said you... like I, that's why I said like I had two spectrums because I knew Star Wars was also a perfect answer. So I wanted to be a little bit more, a little bit more science fiction than that, but not like alien laser science fiction. Interesting. Yeah, yeah that was good. I think like the whole thing was really good. Like the talk was good, and Paul's points were very good. I was just glad that James picked up on that other thing where there was like not as alien sci-fi it was more grounded yeah. a little bit but i think we did good that was a great uh paul spin the wheel spin it to win it let's get a good spectrum on this one. Oh, all of them are good yeah that technology just synthetic divine um hold on i have to look at it yep the technology element is definitely like a big factor in whether or not it's more sci-fi versus more fantasy okay you may open Ugh, good and bad. That's not interesting. Mildly addictive to highly addictive. Oh. Well, you know what's highly addictive? Buying Gundam kits. Playing Wavelength. Ooh. Buying Gundam's wavelength. This is interesting. <laughs> Jesus spectrum. And then like mine is like meth with caffeine in it. <laughs> with caffeine. Do you want an extra shot of espresso? And then like <laughs> oxygen is in the middle in mine. And then like mildly addictive is like, I don't know. Adrenaline. Adrenaline, yeah. Like that's like you and I and like that's why I said we're on the two sides of madness. <laughs> because yours are too small and mine are too broad. Like, 100%. Oh, shit. The other side is caffeine with meth in it. Your favorite food. Oh, okay. I th So I think that's less... It's more on the mild side. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, like... Because, like, I can go a month without eating my favorite food. Like, no problem. I'm not, I'm not addicted to my favorite food, but I like my favorite food. Yeah. Right? Like, like, if I you were like, had fried chicken in a month. Yeah, and if you were like, Justin, you can't have fried rice No, this that's month. a lie. I had Mary Brown's. <laughs> yeah. And, that, fuck, I meant chicken strips. <laughs> but put it I on mean, in all fairness, fried chicken <laughs> is still a chicken strip. <laughs> um, yeah, but if you were like, you can't have fried rice this month, I wouldn't, like, be upset. But, like... You'd be upset. No, I wouldn't. I actually haven't had fried rice in, like, a month. Oh, except you went to Mary Brown's and no. Yeah, I got the fried rice. So what are you I'm thinking? Like, know. are you are you thinking like? Uh, I think it's closer to this side, like over here. Like this is like I think like I feel that I feel like that. if we look at like uh, what's if you like a blizzard, right? Like yeah. you can get like a craving for a blizzard, and you're yeah. like kind of like what Paul's doing right I'm now. I'm gonna just say that I did not say fucking blizzard because yeah. that is a different meaning. For me. <laughs> I'm, I saw it in your eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. that. I can't. I you don't like have, this? I don't have any argument against it. Four. That's a four. Yes. Good clue. Good clue. I see it the is. shadow. It on is. Yeah, Good it clue, is. Paul. Great clue. Thank you. Blizzard? <laughs> okay. All right, James, spin the wheel. The way I crave blizzards. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Now I have to get one because you said it. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Give me I saw it in your eyes when that happened. Yeah. Here you go. Boring topic. We've got points every round. Fascinating topic. No, round. not in James's tooth one, did we? No, you no. got it, didn't you? So we've played. There was one we were off. Feel no, like we played four rounds. We got a points every round. Was the tooth one last time? No. Nope. Flavorless and flavorful. Okay. Bussy. Boring topic <laughs> and fascinating topic. That's too subjective. Flavorless and flavorful feels boring. Unless you can find something that the table. But I'm just around. gonna do this and say vanilla. Okay. Okay. So James saw Neapolitan ice cream and he had chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. <laughs> Did he though? <laughs> 
Honestly, it's probably like there. No, it can't be. I love the flavor of vanilla, but what does James think? No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. From his perspective. Um, it is like... I never vanilla is my thought inaccurate. process more than when people argue over it. Vanilla is inaccurately synonymous with like yeah, flavorless. Yeah, Paul, you're right. You're right. Like it is, it is not, but it is the default like no flavor. I also can't push it out of my head that when James opened it, he did say, uh-oh. So oh, that must mean it was either here, here, or here. Like he wouldn't say, uh-oh, here. He'd be like, nailed it. Here he'd be like, let's go. I love vanilla. I think it's very good. I would if I was going this on my spectrum, vanilla would be like here, right? What's what's here on yours? Just out of curiosity. Gray paste with no flavor. Sorry, what's flavor? <laughs> what's below that? Black Death. hole. <laughs> Dead. No tongue. But I mean, like in all fairness, like I think like flavorless water would be here right like because water doesn't have a flavor right that would be that one if i actually had to think about it and then like filtered water flavorful you get yeah it's true pond water it tastes pretty shit huh um and then like flavorful it could be like good flavor or it could be bad flavor right? yeah, yeah yeah probably he didn't think about no 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 flavors. he's he's over here 100 percent. yeah yeah do we i think that's good Oh, me. <laughs> that was, in all fairness, James, that was a good clue. That was we a just, good clue, We yeah. just jamesed ourselves. We did, yeah. Yeah, all of your previous uh, social interactions yeah, with like, us fucked us up there, but we have in just the done moment, that. it was a yeah. great clue. Yeah, it was. No, that's not on you, that's on us. It's like... What's well, on all of us, <sighs> you, I think? It's just yeah, actually, it's on you. <laughs> all right. Okay, well... Close your eyes. All right. All right. Oh my God! So we have movie and film. You can open your eyes. Wow. Movie? movie, movie or film? Yeah, that's interesting, Moon? especially from you. Sex tape. Do you guys want me to do that one? I think. What's the other one? Uh, ethical to eat and unethical do to the eat. Film one. Can I okay. give you guys my clue for both of them? Yes. Yeah. Can I? I'll give you the film one first, and then I'll give you the. Okay. okay. The, all right. To see if you you have to lock in your answer, and then I'll let you know. All right. Easy. <sighs> Good fellas. Sex tape. I've never seen Goodfellas, but just because I know it, I'm going to assume it's on the film side. I don't know how to actually separate these. Um, This could be the same shade of gray, but like the money, block beside it. Money focused, um, like sequels that didn't need to be made. Also uh, films. Maybe like children's. Yes, yeah. but like... Uh, so I need to look at this as entertainment artistic. versus pretentious. Yeah, kind of. Good films. Yeah. Those that are those are two. Those are two. Two of the. the okay, sort of you know ways. what I'd separate them as? I think I I gotta build my spectrum here to build an argument and actually like place this, but I think it's like. Recommendations, fucking watch it if you like it, sort of thing. It's kind of what I would do. And Goodfellas... Or like, substance, or, substance, entertainment, sort substance of a, versus entertainment. Or, or, or like uh, pop, pop culture impact versus fucking yeah. Trolls World Tour. Totally, totally. Okay, so we got Trolls World Tour. What are you talking Iconic. about? <laughs> it's a fucking film, brother. <laughs> Listen, I... Under... Goodfellas. Yeah, like, I think it's maybe slightly. One not, I like, mean, yeah. right there. Yeah? Okay. All right, you guys want, you guys locking in? Yeah, and yeah. now what's the... So we have ethical to eat and unethical to eat, and I put, I'm going to say veal. I thought you were going to say horse. I don't know what that is. It's baby cow. No. Oh. All right. Do you guys want to see this? I yeah. feel like it's going to be... I've never even seen that movie. It's a good film. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've never even seen that film. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was no, good. you guys did great. That was yeah, good. like this over here. If I had to do like films, yeah, it would be like the really pretentious. No one has seen it except for like the people who watch Criterion. House. No, no that room. one's that one's more on this side too. What, but like, what, like what last year in Marion Bad, like a, a like a two hour long experimental film where like no one talks for like 
the first hour and 30 minutes. I need, you guys some did of those. Fantastic. I need some of those in my arsenal for if I'm like, I have a guy over and I'm like, I'm not into you. Yeah. I'm like, we're watching this. T Trolls World Tour. Trolls, the first one. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, you guys you guys did fantastic on that. Yeah, that was good, James. We can have that one. Fuck yeah. Paul? Howdy. The... <laughs> I love Goodfellas, man. I should watch that movie tomorrow. Over uh, Moonfall. <laughs> Moonfall's a movie. Open your eyes. Bad person, good person. Easy. 90s, 80s. Wow. Actually, that's a good one. The Seventh Seal, that's a film. Seventh Seal, that's on the film side. What about The Seventh Son of the Seventh Son? Last Samurai? Right here. Does Ken, do they, I, sorry, actually, before, let me just adjust this. Does anyone speak Japanese? Yes. Speak then a yes. little bit. Yes. Because, uh, no, I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about the film Last Samurai. Oh. I know you're, yeah, you're doing great. You, 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 it's really cool. And I, we're friends on Duolingo now. Yes. It's fun. Yeah. Because you're, you're Ken Watanabe and I'm Tom Cruise if in they, our friend group. If they spoke, anyway. if they spoke English, it would be here. But because there's a foreign language, it becomes a little bit more film. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's accurate. They subtitle it all for you. Tom Cruise screams, Sake! Travis is uh, checking out his new nod, mod powers and saying penis in chat. Okay, you can say gonna, penis wherever you want here, we're Travis. We're going to do this. Church. We're going to do this. And we're going to do... 80s and 90s. 1985 Ford Crown Victoria. <laughs> yeah, you can't say any numbers, just remember that. Because mm -hmm. this is 1980. This is 1989, 1990. This is 1999, 2000. So my 1985 Ford Crown Victoria is right in there. I've cracked the code. I drove the car here. It's so meta. I've cracked the code. What? What? <laughs> so I feel like I have a really cheap answer. I mean, this is kind of a cheap one. Kind of a cheap round. I'm going to go with... Um, Gorbachev. Bright colors. Oh, Okay. They died in the Nin mid '90s. Yeah, uh, I remember I got my comforter in about 1995, which was like it was like grunge and all that was like and like really depressing. Yeah, I'm gonna. So when did the um, '89 is when the Berlin Wall fell, right? Yeah. Yes. So. I only know that because I recently okay, watched Okay, but Academy also the and '80s were that. technically hella brown. But we associate it with like that teal and like yeah. bright pink more than you do the nineties. A hundred percent, I agree. So, so if this is ninety, or 1990, 89, 90 right yeah. there. So we're in this half. Yeah. Bright colors. So this would be like early eighties, late eighties, mid getting into the nineties. I think it's about where your eighty five. Pontiac Crown Vic is. <laughs> what a Chrysler? I don't. I actually don't remember. Victoria Crown Victoria. Well, I don't. I don't remember. What is it? It's a Ford Crown Victoria. It's technically a 1985 Ford LTD Crown Victoria. In 1983, they introduced the midsize LTD. Are we locked? Yeah, we're locked. Yeah, we should have got a bit farther. That was a. No, I you like guys that. did good given my clue. It was I, I, I like broad. that clue though because it wasn't like cheap. It was a fun clue. Yeah. Would cheap have been like an event? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. gonna do an event because like the oh the event that I had was gonna be my birth. Oh, nice. Which. Nineteen seventy nine. Rude. Uh, yeah, no, I think that was a good clue, and it was, it was a fun clue. <laughs> I, was like, I wasn't sure what to do for like a mildly bad person. Ugh. I could have done Ellen actually. Okay. That's a good one. That would have been perfect. Yeah. Alright, you can open your eyes. A Jeremy Spoken! Underrated skill and overrated skill. I just cheated. I'm going to lose that Expanding information from my mind. Expanding 
my horizon. That's a no, that's not the clue. That's me thinking oh. out. Oh, that's a... <laughs> Because we'd be like, I think that's a pretty underrated skill. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, that is a skill? Okay. Introspection. Kind of the same thing he said again, which is really cool. Definitely so, think it's underrated. Yeah, it's definitely not on the overrated side. <laughs> Oops. No. <laughs> An overrated skill is... Juggle, opening a door. Juggling. Because <laughs> people say juggling, oh, wow, you could juggle? Yeah, but if I But then, like, okay. But can, like, else? okay, no, but here's the thing. Like, I open up a door with a key my first time. After I see someone struggle with it, I'm like, I'm really good at opening doors. Don't <laughs> you think... <laughs> Do you not think that's a little bit overrated? Yeah, to the point that it's not even on my radar of yeah. skills. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're Basic on the human function. Spectrum. Juggling is a really good uh, overrated skill, though. Right? I like that at the end of the spectrum. So then what's an underrated <sighs> skill over here? Um, Like listening. Listening? Or... Honestly, I think being able to, like, fix, like... Pl like plumbing. I think plumbing is an underrated skill. Yeah, like skill. handyman. Yeah. Just kind because, of like, stuff. people don't Handy do it. People don't things. do that anymore. Like, honestly, James being able to fix cars, that's an underrated skill. Or being skill. able to, like, build, like, furniture. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Just being crafty. Yeah. Maybe um, an underrated skill is, for example, making comedy board game content on the internet. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Creativity could be underrated. So I think, what did you say, introspection? Yes. Yeah. I think it's probably, like, yeah. Yeah? Right there. Right there? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that was good. That, that was, was good. good clue, James. I'm surprised how, like, if we get in the numbers, I'm like, hoo hoo. When yeah. we get on a three or four, I'm like, holy shit. Close your eyes, my friends. We're going to have another round. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> stupid, stupid. Fuck, I'm mad at that joke. Which one? The opening PBG, the door. Opening the door to comedy. <laughs> I like the setting the clock on the microwave because, like, I'm pretty sure that someone is, like, impressed that they know that they can put 9-0 instead of 1-0-0. And then I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is I'm real. I'm just going to peek one more time. That is real. Oh, sorry. No, no, I'm looking over at this. <clears throat> Give us something down the barrel. You want something nice and boring? No. All right. We have cat person, dog person. I'm going to say Mike. More on the cat person side, I think. But like, like, he's got not too much. Two cat. He's got two cats. I hear them talk about Burger way more. Do they have a dog, right? Yeah. And yeah. it's not named Burger. Yeah. I know I know. the bur Burger's the cat. I also know that like when Russell comes up, Mike will often talk about bring his cat up not often but like we'll sometimes bring his cat up yeah, like, he's got cat like, envy like not there's a mascot yeah, don't he's forget got a about mike's cat, cat. don't forget about my cats you do the same thing too yeah i love Teddy i think Bear. it's probably at least this much this way if not more no, i don't know mike, mike as well as mike Dustin. mike loves his fucking animals and it's just literally okay here we go no dogs dogs dog Two dogs, dog one one dog one cat, two cats. This isn't dog. ownership though. This is I love cats. I don't care about dogs. This is I love dogs. I don't care about cats. Mike is I love cats and I love dogs too. Yeah, he loves dogs. He loves Washburn. He gives him. Oh, kisses. I have heard about Washburn. Yeah, he's a cute little corgi. He loves him so much. I've probably met him actually. I just can't remember. N here, here. I'm I'm okay with it's that. It's here. I'm okay with that. What's up? Paul, oh, you get another round. Told you we were getting another one. That was so sick. That's a good clue. Oh, Mike. I like have to go with this one. I like. Alright, spin that wheel. It was it was a good clue, and like yeah, because it it's like he it was like he has two cats, <laughs> one dog. <laughs> That is funny. <laughs> you can open. 
Oh. Fuck. <clears throat> Do I go with traditionally masculine versus traditionally feminine or bad TV show versus good TV show? I think both are good. I like the traditionally masculine, traditionally feminine. That's the card I looked at in there and I was like, oh. I like that one too. I feel like I have to speak on gender norms here. Do it. What's traditionally <laughs> masculine? Gillette for men. <laughs> I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. I'm your, your Gillette desire. for men. Uh, no, or like a, a razor, but pink. <laughs> a razor with the name Turbo somewhere and in it. And NOS inside. <laughs> Sometimes I do a clean shave for family. A little Vin Diesel joke for you. I'm, Vin Diesel. I'm, I'm Vin not Diesel. wearing Hawking bags. Stop saying things. I don't want to do things based on what you guys are saying. Okay, well, stop. We'll just, yeah, yeah, I'll pause the video. I don't want to feel like you're pandering. Go, Paul. Okay. It's a great joke. <laughs> um. Dude, parental leave. Traditionally, traditionally, but like, c could he have said? Or do you mean parental leave? Like, I'm going out to buy a pack of cigarettes. Oh my god, and milk. Because like, like, let's look at like the spectrum, right? So traditionally masculine, traditionally feminine. Like, what to you would be the ultimate left, right, right? Like. Traditionally, dads never took time off work. My yeah. dad never took time off work to raise us. My mother yeah. quit her career to raise my sister and I. Yeah. And worked, like, multiple part-time jobs. I went to I daycare. Well, I guess your family just doesn't Not love you. Not in the first nine months, you probably didn't. Six After six, they sent me to daycare. Yeah. Well, six. Yeah. Six months. Yeah, like I, but I think it's going to be, like... Like, a tick up. Yeah, like, there. <laughs> tick down like right on that like birth would be the only thing I could think more <laughs> well that's my blank <laughs> thanks for hanging out you guys, you guys pointed out a good thing though I didn't I didn't factor in the traditionally <laughs> enough Tick but down. he still did really That's, well. I'm gonna wake. I'm gonna wake up. Screw. Tick down. <laughs> tick, tick, tick down. down. <laughs> All right. Um. Sorry. No. No. It's it's okay. Uh, tick. Tick. Well, right. I fucked. We have a great score. That. Two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. We were one point away from exploding head emoji. I'm having an exploding head emoji for the wrong reason. We had a galaxy brain, which is fucking sick. It's fucking sick, but it could have been exploding head emoji. What's galaxy brain? That's, that's a, that, like, guy with yeah. the astral projection. <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. Uh, I'm into that. Man, that was a great game, guys. We really did good. really good. We're a good, we're a good team. Yeah, it was good. Wow. Tyler's got some bad ideas is what I learned. <laughs> No, he gave really good <laughs> oh, Man, if we got that extra thing, that would have been crazy. <laughs> Shit. That's so funny. All right. Bye, YouTube.